According to court records, the deadly shooting here in the parking lot behind me took place because the victim owed the suspect $100. While the case here led to an arrest, nearly 60% of the homicides in Indianapolis this year remain unsolved. Meeting up to settle a debt here at the Express Pantry on South State, 27-year-old Justice Hudson died after being shot in the passenger seat of a car. According to court records, multiple witnesses identified 25-year-old Rashad Bass as the gunman. Bass is now the 56th person arrested by IMPD for one of this year's record-breaking homicides. I'm still numb about it and still, it's still unreal for me. Gina Parker doesn't know anything about Bass's case, but she does know what it's like to lose a loved one to violence because her son, 20-year-old Karan Williams, along with a friend, were shot to death in June during a double homicide on North Bolton. No arrests were ever made in that case. I don't know what to tell a lot of people in my family because I don't know anything. In fact, while 56 murder arrests have been made this year, 30 homicides are considered cleared or non-criminal. Six suspects are wanted for warrants, leaving 135 killings, like Parker's son, unsolved. There's a lot of families out there with no justice, they haven't talked to detectives in months. Parker just wishes IMPD did a better job communicating with victims' families, who she says often feel excluded from the investigations. Don't just leave these victims' families with no answers whatsoever. You know, because we're still out here without answers and still out here without our case solved. Finally, Bass is due in court for an initial hearing tomorrow morning. In the meantime, anyone with information on any unsolved homicide, including the double killing this year on Bolton, is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you.